Hey, what's up guys? Well, it's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. I'm painting the planter, the stand-up planter. Got a pretty good response for, from that. Uh, people seem to like like that project. I enjoyed making it. That was a fun project for me to make. Uh, maybe I'll, um, I wasn't thinking about doing this, but I'll answer, uh, I'll tell a little bit about the build. I was going to use cedar on the whole build. I ended up using Douglas fir on the legs because the cedar, you had to buy it by the piece, a 4x8, 4x4x8, and it was $57 a piece for common cedar. So I decided against it and I bought Douglas fir. Now I knew I was painting the thing anyway, and it's also going to be underneath a soffit at my home. And um, it is going to have moisture in it because, <clears throat> because it's going to be a planter, so it'll be moisture that way. But anyway, I decided to save the money and not use cedar for the legs. Uh, like I said in the video, that was the first time I've ever turned legs. And um, they didn't come out the best, but it's getting so much paint that uh, they came out good enough and it, it was fun. It, that, that's part of what made it a fun project. Another thing I could have done with this project is use mortise and tenon, but I think that the Craig screws will hold up fine and it definitely makes the build go a lot quicker. And um, so about painting it, I'm using a lot of coats of paint. As I mentioned in the video, my wife wants it to look as if it's been around for 100 years and just has coats and coats of paint on it. So I'm not doing any special antique finish. I'm just using a lot of paint that I've had lying around, different colors that I haven't used over the years. And uh, the first thing I did was prime the planter with Fresh Start, an interior, exterior Fresh Start. Uh, it's made by Benjamin Moore. It's just, I like it, I use it all the time. Once I did that, I painted it yellow with this uh, high gloss uh, latex enamel for metal and wood. It's just because I had that yellow color. And then I switched over to a light blue again because I had the color. This paint was a little bit older and so the consistency of the paint is really thick and that actually works in my favor. And right now I've got about six coats of paint on it. I'll probably put one more coat of the blue and then I'll give the planter a light sanding and I'll paint it with another coat of Fresh Start, the white uh, high hiding Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore. And then when that dries, I'll use two coats of white and I'll use the high gloss latex enamel for metal and wood and that will be it for, for the planter. I'm not painting the bottom, I'm just going to let that remain cedar. And, um, and I'm also going to let the paint cure for at least seven days before I plant it. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got a frog in my throat today. So anyway, um, I wanted to answer a question from Steve Collins. He asked me about the Shure foot clamps. I got these clamps probably two months ago, maybe three months ago, and I've avoided using them because they were light. I just didn't think I'd like them. And now I like them because they're light. It's really nice to have this light, light clamp. I was kind of amazed when I picked the the um, uh, whatever I had clamped up off the table and put it to the side when I was working on the project because it was so light. Usually I have my big heavy uh, bar clamps and, um, and these are a lot lighter. So I'm going to give these a high mark. I actually do like these and, and they remain really straight. As you know with bar clamps you can make them warp pretty good when you're, when you're really cranking on them. So uh, again Steve asked me what, he, what I thought of these and I like them. I think they're I think they're pretty good. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the technique that I'm using to try to get this uh, antique looking paint job. So basically what I'm doing is everything that you shouldn't do when you're painting and that is going wet into almost dry. You don't ever want to do that because you'll get pulling and roping but in this case that's what I want. So I work my way around the project. By the time I get to where I started the paint is maybe halfway dry and when I go back into it then I get all kinds of pulling and roping and it kind of coagulating and in this case that's what I'm looking for. So I can kind of just keep working my way around and then I'll let it dry for maybe four or five hours and do that again. Like I said eventually I will be done with the blue. I'll prime it one more time with the fresh start and then I'll give it two good coats of an antique white paint. 
So anyway, that's the process I'm using, and I think it's going to work out pretty good. So I'll see you guys later.